Hey Scorpio, welcome back to the channel. It's always an amazing, blessing feeling to have you right back here. Um, today's reading is for you, Scorpio. I know you're a diamond. Please shine bright like a diamond. Also, please make a friendly note, Scorpio, that if this reading does not resonate to your present situation, please do not get her offended or any of feelings, honey. It only simply means that the reading is not for you. However, if you choose to come back another day, that one just might be. Also, if it's your first time here and you're not subscribed to the channel, please feel free to do so. And turn on the post notifications so that way you will always be the first one to be notified each and every single time that I do upload brand new contents. Also, please give the videos a thumbs up for me, Scorpio, because once you thumbs up the videos, YouTube will see that you like the videos. And they will, and only them, will push those videos through, okay? Into a much wider audience, the video will grow and the channel will also grow. For all my return and secrets, know that I love you guys so, so, so much. Thank you for the love and support that you show each and every day. I still see the love and believe me, the love here is not going unnoticed. Now, please make a note that the card here has been shuffled and the card here has been blessed. But before I get into the reading, a prayer is a must. I want to get into a quick reading because something came into my spirit earlier. I just got done doing an Aries video and while I was shuffling the cards, well, while I was putting the cards together, I did get a vision. Something came to me, but I'm going to go ahead and get into a prayer and then I'll get on into the reading. Heavenly Father, as I go along my day, I ask that you bless myself and my seekers. Heavenly Father, please send your most powerful angels to take charge over this reading. Using my body as a vessel, giving me the right words and the right messages that you want me to share the secrets for the ones that need to know. Heavenly Father, I give you all the honor and all the praises in Jesus' name. We pray. Amen. Okay, y'all. Um, now, please know that this reading is a general one. It will not resonate to every single Scorpio out there. Take whatever resonates and whatever did not resonate, just leave it in the trash, all right? Because that's where it needs to be. Uh, because it's a general reading, it could go in the reverse. It could even go for the cross watchers who are watching. Um, but just please don't go ahead and thumbs up the videos for me, all right? I really do appreciate that, y'all. Now, if you need to have a personal reading, um, just go ahead and check the description part of this video. And you'll see exactly how to connect with me to have a personal reading done. That's appreciated as well. All right. Um, happy Sunday, y'all. It is Easter. You will definitely see this video today. So happy Easter, y'all. I hope y'all are doing well and I hope y'all are doing blessed. Please do not drink and drive. Just enjoy what this day is all about. The resurrection, all right? All right, so... um. Scorpio, um, like I said before, while I was closing out on the Aries reading, um, I was pulling up some cards from this deck. I did, um, something came into my um, spirit here. And I just wanted to share it here with, with um, someone needs to hear this. Now, I'm picking up an energy here that someone is feeling very lost here. Someone is feeling massively lost here. Very, very lost. Um, I'm feeling a sense of rebirth, meaning there, this person who's feeling lost at this moment, there's children involved. There's either this person might have just found out about a new life that's coming in, um, or maybe there's uh, small children or there's children involved, but I'm getting the sense of it's not just two people. The decision that was made, someone was kind of selfish into making the decision. And, and that person walked away um, very abruptly, okay? Um, it is very, it's affecting um, not just the two people involved, but it's affecting others as well, is what I'm feeling here. Massive loss. Now, I'm feeling someone is like, like torn to pieces, okay? This person who's torn to pieces right now is not even sleeping properly. Not really sleeping properly, okay? Okay. All right. Mm hmm Not sleeping properly at all. Mm. Not really sleeping. Sleepless nights here. This person is lost, lonely, sadness. You're crying, very sad. But I get a sense of, even though you're going through what you're going through right now, angels are telling me to tell you that you do possess the power. 
You do possess the power in your hands. You do possess the power in your eyes. You still have the power. Someone, though, is, is, is kind of uh, trying to intimidate you, okay? They're trying to intimidate you. It's like a snake. They're like a snake. They're trying to intimidate your judgment here. But I feel like you need to stay focused and do not turn your head and glimpse at this snake here, okay? You have to stay focused here and hold the power with your eyes wide open. It's very serious. Not with tears and pain in your eyes. Not with fear in your eyes, but hold the power of God in your eyes, honey. Because I'm feeling in the mortality card here, you possess that power, right? Is what I'm feeling here. Yep. I'm getting release it. Look at that, y'all. Look at this. Release. Just release that situation, right? That situation that you're presently feeling, that you're dealing with right now, you're going to release it. You're going to release it. You have no choice but to release it. Don't hold on to it. Release it. Let it go. You have to let it go. Let it go. And tap into your spiritual power. Tap into your spiritual power. Your mortality is what you need to do. Tell me more. Hmm. Resurrection. Arise from it. Let it go and arise from it. Arise from this bondage. Arise from the pit of hell. Arise from people walking on you like a doormat. Arise from it. You have put up with this for way too long. Way too long. I'm feeling you have been dealing with this for a minute. For a while. Trying to make their rights. And not yours. Hmm. Tell me more. Okay. Okay. You have given all you can. You have been your, their inspiration. But what about your inspiration? What about what you need? You have given all you can. You have surrendered all you can. But what about your inner beauty? What about your inner peace? What about you? What about your self-care? What about your self-love? Tell me more, please. Inner beauty. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> Just said it, right? What about you? When was the last time you took the time to love you? What about the when was the last time you took the time to hug you? When? Please tell me more. Reinvention. Reinvent your life. Don't wait for them to do it. Reinvent your life. Honey. Don't wait on no one to do this. Because you're going to be waiting a very long time. Expression. Say what you want to say. Now is the right time to do it. <clears throat> I bet you when you start doing that, they will never know who that is. Right? That love that you truly deserve here. Because this is what you all, that's what you always wanted. 
that's what you really need. Creation, create the love that you truly deserve. Tell people what you really want. Don't tell them what you need. Tell them what you want right now. Tell me more, please. Transformation. Hmm. Yes. Once you tell them that, transformation, your strength kicks in, honey. Because your strength is going to help you to transform into something that they never knew existed. Tell me more, please. Okay. Find the magic within yourself. It's there. You're the one who's holding on and hiding your own magic, okay? Not them. You're hiding your own magic. You're stopping your own blessing. Creation. Transformance. You're blocking it. Okay. I'm getting... You're in a peace. The pleasure. I feel like for some of you, you have to look beyond the pleasure with your person. Look beyond how good they make you feel sexually. Or what it is that you give to them sexually that they like. Form a spiritual connection with your person and not a sexual connection. Tell me more, please. <laughs> Self-love. Self-love, honey. That's the best kind of love. You hear me? Cleansing. Start that you start cleansing, okay? Cleansing yourself. Starting from up here. And work its way to the heart. To the stomach. And to the soul of your feet. Cleansing, all right? Your life is calling for that. Tell me more. Spirit. Your ancestors are already warning you and guiding you and telling you that you need courage here. They're saying that you need courage. Look at that. Okay? Boldness. Be bold with the situation and fierce with it. Fertility. Everything is going to be handed to you. Everything is going to be given to you. All right? But you need inner strength. Your strength and your inner strength. Boldness. Don't be walking around with your head hanging down. Ain't nobody going to take you serious. Snap into it. All right? Time that you snap. Snap into it. It's time. And the clock is ticking, honey. The clock is ticking. It's time that you say what you want and mean what you say. Okay? That is your reading for today. I hope it did resonate with you, um, a Scorpio. Um, don't forget to have a blessed, a very blessed Easter rest of the day. Um, wherever in the world that you are watching this, know that I love you so much. Um, don't forget to thumbs up the videos for me. Um, and don't forget to pray and fast. And I will see you in my next one. Also, don't forget to seek first and you will always find.